Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dom Lovely, your source for all celebrity and entertainment news from my point of view. Well, today you guys, we are talking Portia Williams from wholesome wife to materialistic fiance. What happened, you guys? <laughs> now, if you have been following my channel, you know that I do not necessarily have a favorite housewife as they all have provided drama and many giggles for me over the years especially that Phaedra. <laughs> but I will say that one who has most transformed characteristically for me, in my opinion, is the former uh, Miss Portia Stewart. We were introduced to Portia in 2012 as a new housewife to the franchise Real Housewives of Atlanta. And at that time, she was married to Cordell Stewart, a former NFL player who primarily played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, upon our introduction to Portia, she seemed to be a very loving, kind, and considerate wife to her husband that kept the moral values of the marriage in a high esteem. And although they did not have any children together, I mean, she seemed to be very enthusiastic about their future and took pride in being a stepmom to her stepson. As far as the group, I mean, she would often separate herself in terms of values from the other women when it came to doing things that she did not deem appropriate for being a married woman and a woman of God. We all remember the scene of the women being in the limo headed to the strip club and Portia uh, was very concerned that Cordell would not approve of her going to the strip club. She basically said Phaedra tricked her into going. And Phaedra's response was, if I say that we're going to the Rocky House Horse Club, uh, you ought to know it's basically a strip club. <laughs> so Nene had this to say, don't come on the girl's trip if you're not going to do the girl's stuff. Unless Cordell is going to put a wig on and be a part of the girl's trip, then we don't want to hear about what Cordell has to say. <laughs> well, Portia responded, I'm a go along, get along type of girl, but I have a ministry inside me to help women who are my age. I don't like to see a woman selling and promoting her body. Well, that comment didn't age well at all. <laughs> the women, including Nini, began to think that Cordell was controlling over their sweet little Portia. Thus, she decided to take the stance as big sister to Portia. And as we all have seen over the years, that has not lived up to many expectations and seems to be an on again, off again relationship between Portia and Nini. In 2013, Portia Williams got a divorce from Cordell. And with that independence, y'all, all hell broke loose. <laughs> If you need an example of that, please refer to my most recent video I did of Portia and her family beating up her daughter's father, Dennis. Yep, that happened. It's posted right at the top. You can see the pop-up right there at the top right corner. So moving on in 2018, Portia began to date entrepreneur Dennis McKinley, which resulted in the birth of her daughter in 2019. Portia and Dennis seemed to be having, you know, a pretty happy relationship and she seemed very optimistic about the union until allegations of Dennis cheating on her while she was pregnant with a younger woman came out. So during these years, we saw a different Portia, you guys. I mean, visually, her body looked pretty full. Her breasts were much bigger. Her behind seemed to be a big, bit bigger. Um, however, she said that she did not have any work done, which was a conversation between she and Kenya. Portia seemed to now really be consumed with designer bags, luxury cars, and maintaining a certain lifestyle for both her and her mama, Diane, that did not seem to be as important as when we first met her. And I'm not taking anything away from her hustle because, of course, we all strive to do and want more out of life. However, Portia's change in morals seem to be a bit extreme. 
The relationship between Portia and De Dennis fizzled and in early 2021, pictures surfaced of her dating a familiar face that we had seen on the show. And actually, it was the husband of a past friend to the show, Fallon Guabadia. Apparently, Fallon and Simon had separated and he was now dating Portia for uh, about a month <laughs> before he proposed to her. At least that's what she told her cousin Londi on her show, Portia's Family Values. There has been many opinions about the time frame of the engagement to Simon. However, uh, even Dennis said in December of the prior year that they were still trying to figure their ish out and were even taking Christmas pictures together. Very interesting, you guys. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing a Portia that is not so familiar to us. One who is concerned with marrying an older man of means. Some would say this complex was developed once Dennis cheated on her with a younger woman. Additionally, Portia seems to be consumed with having a big house, se owning several homes, and having several vehicles. Recently here, her fiancé gave her a $300,000 Rolls Royce, which seems to be the same vehicle he gave his ex-wife of two years, Fallon Pina. <laughs> wow. Well, all I can say is if Portia's mission in life was for women to not worship uh, worldly possessions and to educate them on how their body is their temple, in my opinion, she has failed miserably. Hell, even Stevie Wonder can see that her current fiancé, Simon's main objective is to be on television to promote, to promote himself or his businesses or even just to promote his lifestyle. Don't forget to watch my video, Ready to Love Reunion Part 2, which airs tonight, you guys. If you didn't see my review for Part 1 of the reunion, it will be posted here at the top right corner. Click that link. Just wanted to drop that in for you guys. Okay, so it's safe to say that Portia, the one that we see now, um, yeah, you know, this Portia will be around for around for the long haul, but I'm not sure in what capacity because uh, you know, there's been rumors that her spinoff show will not be renewed, and additionally, she has made the decision to leave the Real Housewife of Atlanta franchise. I'm not sure that Simon is all so happy about her, you know, removing herself from the platform because, again, that takes eyes off of him. And in my opinion, he just wants to be on TV. However, in the last episode of Portia's Family Matters, he does tell Portia that he is ready to consolidate all of their finances. <laughs> so you guys read between the lines. Wow. Wow very interesting relationship here i am not sure there is love involved in this at all anyway you guys also i wanted to mention that i am your premier virtual avon representative and this is not your grandma's avon honey we have some amazing and exciting products from makeup to skincare oral care bath and body home essentials avon has it all Drop down below and you will see my link to my Avon store. All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell. Leave all of your comments down below and we will chat again soon. Bye.